and welcome to The Travelling Introvert. I hope everyone is well. I am going to be talking to you today about introversion. Big surprise, hey? Well, what I realise and what has uh, happened recently is I'll be explaining what I do and people automatically assume that I'm talking about shy people because I'll talk about how um, self-confidence or um, networking or changing careers and finding your niche. And people are like, oh, so you help shy people sort of come out of their shell and, and talk to people because they don't want to talk to people. And I'm immediately like, no, I, I said I deal with introverts. And they're like, yeah, but introverts are shy, right? No, I mean, some are. There's some extroverts who are shy and there are some introverts who are shy. But that's not always the case. So today I wanted to talk about introversion and how people think that introversion is about being shy. And I don't know if I've talked about the myths about introversion before, but maybe that's something I should uh, talk about now. But first things first, introversion is about where you get your energy from. Some people get their energy from being around lots of people. They, they, they thrive off it. It energizes them. It makes them feel alive. While others energize from being alone and spending time with themselves or with a book or doing something creative. Well, can be creative with other people or not. But that's sort of the definition of introversion and extroversion is where you get your energy from. And to be honest, most people are not at extremes of the spectrum. Most people slide somewhere in between at at any given time. Also, what I've heard some people say is the older they get, the more extrovert they get, or the older they get, the more introverted they get. But it is a sliding scale and just like anything can change with time. So that's the deal with introversion. So introverts are not necessarily shy. And oh, hey, yo, Cambridge Dictionary, I'm talking to you. We are not awkward and weird and can't make friends easily. This, my friends, is the Cambridge Dictionary's definition of introvert. It is very subjective. It is also very incorrect. And it's something that has been bothering me for the longest while, because as a dictionary, A, their their definitions should be objective. That should just be standard. But the fact that their, this particular thing is so subjective and very hurtful and can be potentially damaging to people. The fact that they say that they're unable to make friends easily. So someone who has maybe social anxiety automatically thinks they're an introvert because the Cambridge Dictionary has defined them as someone who cannot make friends easily. And so part of this, I'm going to put this in the show notes, is that I have started a petition to help the Cambridge Dictionary mend its ways and to change the definition that they currently have for introverts because it is misinformation. It is one of those myths, and I think I will go over these myths in a later episodes, about introversion that needs to change. We need to change the narrative around introversion and extroversion. There are a lot of positive traits to both. We are all just people, and these are words that somehow put us in little boxes. So I will put the information, or if you want to sign the petition, in the show notes. And that is my deal with introversion. So another thing that is happening this year is I'll be speaking in various places about introversion, as always. But what I've decided to do is to sort of create a Patreon page. This has come because some people who listen to me have asked, hey, I want to help you with costs, or I know that you you know, need a good microphone, or that I just appreciate what you do and the information that you are giving out, and they want to give back. So I have created a Patreon page, and it is under the Career Introvert. And if you take a look there, I am offering some superb things for people who donate some money anywhere from a dollar upwards. And what, please take a look at Patreon and look for The Career Introvert and you will find all the information there. And I look forward to hearing from you again. This is The Traveling Introvert. Should you want to message me with any questions or ideas for the show, please message me at Janice at thecareerintrovert.com. You'll also be able to message me at The Traveling Introvert, but I'm trying to condense everything, so I'm not checking too many emails. And um, you can find me on Facebook at The Career Introvert and also The Traveling Introvert. 
Once again, if you look on Patreon, The Career Introvert, you can become a sponsor for just $1. I will, um, you know, you will have my forever love and a few other things. So thank you very much and see you next time.